Hey guys, I stumbled upon the Green Golly project when I went to the San Francisco Flute Festival back in, I think, 2012. I did video blog that festival, so you can go and check it out here. I ended up keeping in contact with them since then, and lately they've come out with a couple of newer products than they had back then. So they decided to send it over to me so I could show you guys. I am also not paid to say anything of what I am going to say about these products. These are really my own thoughts about it and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought these products were pretty darn cool. So let's start with the main part of the project which is the storybook. So yes, this is actually a children's storybook revolving around a character named Green Golly who is kind of like Rapunzel but not really. It's a Rapunzel that plays the flute. And I'm only going to say that much because the whole story is going to be totally ruined if I tell you the entire thing. But just so you can get a feel for what it looks like, here we go. Oh, whoa, yeah, oh my, oh yeah, 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 and that's the story. And I totally went backwards for you guys. I did not spoil it. That's right. Really cute story. I listened to the whole thing. They have it on CD here, which is actually the same CD that they have in here. They just sent all of their products to me, so some of it is a repeat. Now the awesome thing, which I think is so cool and that it really keeps up with the technology these days. CDs, yeah, cool, right? But we have gotten so lazy to the point that we don't even want to take out the CD to put it in the computer or CD player. Who has CD players these days? What are those? If you got this book, would you actually take out the CD and listen to it? I guess you won't, but check out this little QR code here. What you can do is download the Story Sticker app, which is a free app on iTunes. I went and downloaded it just to kind of check it out and see how it works. Here is my iPhone with my amazing, attractive face. Mm. Yes, I have Flappy Bird. I have a high score of what? Well, let's see how far it can get right now. Oops, I got to two. I have a high score of 36. That's right, guys. That was totally not part of this video at all. I'm sorry. So we're just going to tap on that. Now, when you first download this app, you do need to actually register with them. So there's actually gonna be sort of like a login and password thing, and there's a register section. It's just your name, your email, and like you have to make up a password. I think that's it. You wanna tap on this, little icon, it will turn into the little scanner. Um, let's hold this up. Aw oh, yeah, did you see that? Now it's loading actually the entire story. Here we go. Oh yeah, just another flutist is the most elegant flutist you'll ever meet in your entire life. I don't even know where anything is and I'm trying to stick my face into the shot as well. Wow, it's loaded now. So it will actually read out the whole story with a full introduction. Once upon a time, there was a girl whose parents were so hungry. I didn't want to spoil it because it gets like really good right after that. I think it's about half an hour, the entire story. Really funny, kind of random, but random is good. As you can tell, I am a pretty random person. Just look through my videos and you'll know. Musicians will really like this one. You actually get all the inside jokes about practicing and stuff. Back to the app, I just wanted to show you a little bit more. When you are done listening to whatever, you just go to the home button here. I'm gonna press that. It'll actually show you which codes you've scanned. So I've obviously, I've scanned three in total here and it logs it for you. So you can just press that, start your story and then you can start it again. It does take a little bit to load. I think the bigger the file, the longer it takes to load. Really, really convenient. If you're reading the story with a class or with several classes, you have it all logged on here. So you, you don't have to keep scanning it every time you do it, which is really awesome. I really like that. It's so high tech. Irma Gerd. The other thing about this story that I really like is that it uses real orchestral excerpts or excerpts from like very, very well-known flute pieces with the exception of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but everybody plays Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. In the book, they actually tell you the name of the piece and the composer, including things like Flight of the Bumblebee by Rimsky-Korsakov. That's actually part of the story. Part of the excerpt is actually being played as part of the story. 
How cool is that? So dang cool. Now the other tracks that are here at the end of the book and the other tracks that are on this CD after the story is read are the excerpts in their full glory. You don't even have to use a CD. You can just scan them and you can listen to it on your phone. It's exposing children to classical music, but in a really fun way. The amazing thing too about the recordings of these stories is that the flute part is being played by Barbara Cecil, who is this woman here, this lovely woman, that I kind of randomly interviewed at the San Francisco Flute Festival. So the flute player that you heard is her playing it. And her husband, Keith Torgan, is the narrator and he also changes his voice for all the characters, which is really funny. What I've also noticed is that the vocabulary is actually surprisingly very good for a children's storybook. Even words like chagrin, like, what kind of kid knows what chagrin means? Because Keith Torgan, when he narrates, he's just so expressive that even if you don't understand what the word means initially, I'm sure that kids will pick it up really quickly. It's not just that the kids will learn music, but their English will actually get better. So all of those excerpts that we were talking about, not only can you listen to the full excerpts, but you can actually study them along with the book. All of the excerpts that they use in the story are here. Here is the flute part. It's fun because it goes with the story. So it gives a lot more context to pieces that young kids are studying. What I found was the hardest about learning as a kid was that I never had any context for any music that I was playing. I was just kind of told to study it and I'm like, this sounds nice, but I can't really relate. So this story really makes these pieces come to life to these kids. I would have totally dug it if this existed in my day. Comes with a pretty badass piano part. It's like. Freaking that for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Really? Yeah. I think the Abanera is in here too. Very classic. Not only do you have a version of the excerpts as a flute and piano book, but you also have it as a flute ensemble. It is arranged for solo flute, piccolo, first flute, and second flute. So this would be really, really great for those of you teachers who have quite a number of students who have quite a big studio and you like to put together your own flute choirs with your students. How cool would it be if you actually put on a concert where this was being narrated and the music was actually played live by your own students? What? Holy crap. What an ingenious idea. I was just kind of skimming through the parts and I noticed that some parts are easier than others. So what you can do as a teacher then is that you can actually mix and match your students. So you can have some more advanced student play the harder parts and you can have beginner and intermediate students play the easier parts. That way the slightly less experienced students can actually learn hands-on. I found personally for myself that I learned the most when I was put in an ensemble. The first ensemble I was in, I think I was nine years old, and I learned so quickly and so fast because it's just so much more interactive. I do know that they have their own Green Golly flute. Let me know and also Green Golly know in the comments below if you would like to have a review on that. I did actually get to try one of their flutes at the flute festival. So you can just go to the video blog and see how it sounds. It's fantastic, I love it. I think they've done quite a few tours on the East Coast-ish, Midwest. Contact them, let them know if you want them to come to your school, to your local library, etc., etc. Very recently, they have actually sort of made their own screen projection. So it makes their live shows even more interactive and a lot more fun. It was like a whole like movie production, I think. I was kind of following it on Facebook, it's pretty cool. Barbara Cecil plays the flute live and Keith Torgan actually narrates it live. I think they did an excerpt of 
of it at the San Francisco Flute Festival, which I thought was so cute. I hope I've covered everything. If you guys have more questions though, do leave it in the comment section below. Green Golly, I believe, will be checking this video. Or you can just contact them directly with any more questions that you have about their project. I'll put their website down below. You can go and contact them there and let them know I sent you. They are super cool people, really, really nice. Right now they are based in New York. Hope you guys enjoyed that review. If there's anything else that you want me to review, let me know. It would be nice to know what you guys have questions about actually in terms of music products. Anyway, that is it for now. Make sure you hit subscribe up there to catch my new videos coming out and click there for my last video. Oh, a lot of people are just kind of doing my thing. My social media stuff is down there and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Finally filming this at freaking 9.54 p.m. Yes, my face is very, very attractive. And refrigerator makes weird noise. I feel a burp coming. Oh yeah, right there. Very ladylike. Mmm, thank you. Um, ooh, I kind of ran, kind of I kind of Oh yeah.